Bienvenidos a Stepping Stones, lección 96b, Los Sombreros de Emma, primera parte. La muchacha se llama Emma, y Emma tiene muchos sombreros. First, let's sing La Cucaracha. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiere caminar. Porque no tiene, porque le falta dinero para gastar. Una cucaracha pinta, le dijo a una colorada, vamos para mi tierra a pasar la temporada. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiere caminar. Porque no tiene, porque le falta dinero para gastar. Money to spend. Dinero para gastar. Now we can change the endings. We can make them up. Porque no tiene, porque le falta limonada que tomar. Lemonade to drink. Chocolates que probar. Chocolates to taste, to try. Chocolates que probar. Un sombrero que llevar. A hat to wear. You can make your own up. We're going to look at four things today in particular. The first one, de possessive. Possessive shows who owns something. Friends can be possessive, too possessive. Sometimes... A friend will want a friend, another person, to himself, to herself, and doesn't want anybody else to share that friend. That's being too possessive. What we're looking at here is, is how the word de shows who owns something. Poner, in this lesson and the next one, we'll look at these words. Poner, to put or to place something. Tener, to have. Llevar, to wear, or carry. We've seen some or all of these words already, but every once in a while we stop and we work on them again. Let's look at the word de right here. And I want you on a piece of paper, if you have one, I want you to write some short answers. I want you to write, it's Emma's, or it belongs to Emma. We do it like this. Es de Emma. So, that's how we do this one. Now watch. Over here in this circle, this is what does not belong to Emma. How are we going to say it's not Emma's? El rojo isn't Emma's. El sombrero rojo. Can you do it? We need one word added to this. Go ahead and write it, while I also do it. No es de Emma. Here's one. El sombrero amarillo. This one is hers, so go ahead and write. It's Emma's, or it belongs to Emma. La respuesta es... Es de Emma. Just like that. El blanco. The white one. El blanco. La respuesta es... No es de Emma. El azul... Go ahead, escríbelo. Es de Emma. And so whichever person you're talking about, es de Emma, es de John, es de Lorenzo. Poner con, to put or place with. 
Now, when she sets her clothes out each day, she likes certain colors with certain other colors. So she would put, for instance, this sombrero verde, she would put it out with her white t-shirt and we'll do it like this. Watch how simple this is. We're going to take off the R at the end and we'll make this a capital. We're going to say she puts the green one, El Verde, or just the color green. She puts green with La Camiseta Blanca. So she puts green, or the green one, with the white t-shirt. So how are we going to say she doesn't put the white one? She doesn't put the white one. Go ahead and write it. Just like that. No pone el blanco. No pone el blanco. Now, let's say she doesn't have this one. Tener. Tener, to have. She doesn't have this. Go ahead and write that. And so will I. No tiene rojo. She doesn't have a red one. No tiene rojo. But she does have this one, so write that. And so will I. Tiene un azul. Tiene un azul. She doesn't have a green one. Now watch this. Respuesta es no tiene and we're going to take out the word un. When we have a negative statement like this, we usually take that out. So, no tiene verde. Tiene un azul, pero no tiene rojo. No tiene verde. Llevar. Emma is wearing, or wears, how will we do it? Lleva. El rojo. Lleve rojo. She's wearing the red one. Okay, escribe. And I will write it also. So, la respuesta es, no lleva el verde. Did you think we were supposed to eliminate el? Well, no, we won't do that. We do that with the word un or una when we have a negative statement. Okay, escribe this one. La respuesta es... Lleva el azul. Escríbelo. A negative statement. No lleva el amarillo. Hasta luego.